Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing a monthly favourites or current favourites because I haven't done one of these in months. Sorry. People have been asking me lots of questions about these products like in Instagram pics and stuff like that so I thought I would show you what they are. I'm going to start out with Should I Go Skincare Makeup Fashion? Yes? For skincare, people have been asking what products I've been using for my skin. I got sent the Ulla Henriksen Empower range before it even came out. So I've been using it for like six or seven weeks now. And you've noticed a change in my skin. People are asking me what my routine is. Well, this is it. This is what I changed from what I was using previously. I use the Empower Foaming Milk Cleanser and the Empower Featherweight Moisturizer. But in between, I use my trusty Truth Serum Collagen Booster all Booster, booster also from Ola. So I use this one in the shower, foams up, takes, takes all my makeup off, cleanses my skin amazingly, smells great. As soon as I get out of the shower, I put my Truth Serum Collagen Booster on. This is the thing that like helps to heal my scars and stuff like that because sometimes I do break out, only once a month, but this is what helps keep the scarring away. And then the Empower Featherweight Moisturizer is what I use after that. I kind of wait a few seconds and then I put it on and it's it just is like almost immediately absorbed right into my skin. There's no residue. I can apply makeup. It's not going to look shiny. Um, gives me that glow. Um, okay, and then Fake Tan. My trusty old La Tan. But this is the new Express. It's called a 30 minute tan. So pretty much when you apply it, I'm wearing my robe just excuse me, because I just apply. Basically you put it on, I use this mitt, I think it's called the Deluxe Tanning Mitt, and it's amazing, can we just like, it's like a bear on your hand. So when you apply it, the amazing thing is, you can wait a minimum of 30 minutes before washing it off, so I don't have to wait 4 hours, I don't have to wait 8 hours, if I don't have time, I can just put it on, and then wash it off 30 minutes later, and then it develops into a light tan. If I want it to be darker, then I leave it up to, it says an hour, but sometimes I've left it up to three hours, and it gets really nice and dark. Okay, now makeup, and I really have been loving these little Becca highlights I bought from Sephora. They're called the Shimmering Skin Perfector Spotlight, and there's a white one, a pink one, and a gold one. My favorite is the pink one. Um, but I apply it to my skin and it gives it that amazing shiny wet look like strobing It's like strobing, but um, I like powder highlights as well But this just looks so much more natural makes your skin look incredible as for lips uh, Lip liner my favorite is definitely Whirl from Mac. I need to order like as many backups as possible I'm wearing it on my lips right now It's just the best color It's the one Kylie Jenner always wears and so that's originally why I bought it But I don't apply it as dark as her. I use it quite lightly and it's just a really nice everyday color and looks amazing under like any kind of lip gloss. Another favorite is definitely my Gimme Brow from Benefit. Uh, I also, so I got back into this product because last year I was blonde, so the one that I had originally was blonde. Um, but this year I've gone back to my natural color, which is this nice dark brown, poo brown. I went overseas to Croatia and I found a cute little like copy of this. Well, not copy, but like Essences version. So it was really cheap and I was using it all throughout Europe because my eyebrows had been tattooed so I didn't really need to shade them in. I just wanted to like plump up the hairs and keep the hairs in place. Your brows look perfect. They stay in place. It's waterproof. It's awesome. But um, I recommend the Essence one. If not, Benefit has the original, which is just as good. It's just more expensive. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, I love these products. I'm about to film my own review on them, actually. It's the Lancome Miracle Cushion product. It came out in July, I think, and I was meaning to do a review on it, but I wanted to really try it out before I do a proper review on it. So I used two shades. I used two beige rosé, which is like a light color for when I'm pale. Looks like that. And then I used number four, beige miel. Meal, whatever that means, but I use this so much that I've bought a refill already. Basically, it's based on like, um, I think it's Korean makeup, where they have found a way years and years ago to hold liquid foundation in a compact form, which is so handy. So it's kept in like a little sponge or the cushion. And now I think you can get this kind of thing in a lot of different products, but Lancome came out with this and it makes it so amazing to carry your makeup in your bag because I don't like powdering my makeup and all that kind of thing. I like nice natural makeup. So um, I use this product in the morning, then I just pack it in my bag. It's not going to spill anywhere because the product is all soaked into that sponge. So then I press my little sponge into the sponge holding the makeup and pat it back on my skin if I need touching up. Like, 
it's amazing it's so good this product I think everyone should try it out it's probably my absolute favorite thing right now favorite brush this is actually my all-time favorite brush for eyes it's the luxe petite crease from zoeva this is the rose gold one but it's just a nice firm little blending brush that i use to apply and blend out and it's just perfect for the shape of my eye socket zoeva brushes are like one of the best quality um, affordable price range ever and you can actually buy them in australia now in sephora so i could do every eye look using just those brushes. When I was in England hanging out with my friend Nina, I went to Liberty of London and I bought this really nice eyeshadows and blushes from Surratt and they are the most buttery, soft, high quality eyeshadows I own. I really wish I had some more. I heard that they're coming out here later this year. They didn't even have all the colors when I was there because they were sold out, but they're very expensive. That's the one thing. They're super expensive, but they're such good quality. Um, I love the colors that I got but I definitely want more and it's really cute because this palette you can slot whichever combination of products you want in there. Another product that I love is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana for her perfume. Oh, I really like it. It's just a nice summery, for me it's summery scent because it's got a lot of floral scents in there but it's quite strong as well and this is a little roller and I just keep it in my purse that's why it's so beat up <laughs> but it's perfect to just Keep smelling fresh when I'm out. Um, I wanted to show you my sunglasses. So I bought these sunglasses when I was in Switzerland. Can you not? So I always really loved this Celine um, glasses that are really flat at the top and then go like that. You must know the ones I'm talking about. Um, but I couldn't find them and plus everyone has them now so I wanted something different. So I found these ones. These are by Chanel and they're flat at the top but they're kind of square around there and I just really like them. They're navy blue, they've got like a matte, um, it's got like the, hey mom, yeah. what's it called, tweed, it's got like a tweed pattern over the navy blue and I just really like them, they look really stylish and modern and when I wear them with all black it looks good and navy is like a neutral so it goes with everything. Oh no, I wanted to show you guys my dry shampoo, this is the Batiste extra extra large volume dry shampoo and I use this even when my hair is clean to get volume you just spray it in there it's really strong it's like a harpoon coming out of here and it's white but that's all right and you just mess it in and you've got instant volume and your hair looks really big and looks really good stylish the only thing is it makes your hair feel kind of like ugh. but um Otherwise, I really like it. Is that everything that I had to talk about to you guys? I wanted to show you fashion and things, but already this video is at 30 minutes, so I need to edit it down to under 10. So I might be already, um, might be a bit challenging already. So I'm going to leave it at that and do another favorites video with more fashion items later. But I hope you guys liked it. Um, let me know what you think of the products I included in the comments. And let me know if you want to see more favorites videos because I don't, I kind of stopped doing them. And that's a bad thing. I did a bad thing. So let me know if you want to keep seeing them and I'll do them again next month. Bye guys.